Today we're on a journey, the road from Silicon Fen to the rural Fen on the road to Deja Vu. It's a 10 mile journey along the A10. It's a road I know well. I learned to drive along it and took my first photographic images along it. It's part of an autobiographical series I called A View of the Fens from the Car with Wings. I was awarded a bursary in 1993 by the Arts Council to produce an exhibition for the Cambridge Darkroom Gallery. It went on to tour museums and galleries around the country. It was inspired by Sunday drives with my family in the Fens as a child. The series is ongoing and I'm hoping to add to it today. Our first stop on the way is with Mr King, the proprietor of the Red Roofs Garage. His house on the A10 has been in his family since 1923. The Red Roofs Garage was the home to these beautiful green petrol pumps which I photographed for the original series. Its forecourt was a major refuelling stop before the introduction of supermarket petrol stations. We next pass through Water Beach, where we leave the land and enter the former wetland. This is where I spent my summer holidays, acting out scenes from the wind and the willows. In entering the drained landscape, we are entering a new place where the imagination can run free. The landscape is very familiar to me, but it also looks like the American Midwest or the background to a Hollywood movie. The A10 could be the Highway 10. The next stop on the road is Chittering. This is where, in 1987, I photographed the Ebenezer Baptist Chapel, when the world had a slower pace of life. These formed part of my series, Ordinary Places, that showed at the Photographer's Gallery in London in 1990. We drive another mile up the road and come to our final destination, the Lazy Otter Lay-By. The land to the right of us is known as Australia. The river in front of us is the Great Ooze. And to the left, we can see the Deja Vu trailer. The road to Deja Vu is a journey, but it's also a metaphor for my work of revisiting something or somewhere time and time again. The roadside signs of the Fens have drawn me to photograph signs around the world. I love the graphic typography, the messages and the bold art of the signs in many environments. The hills of Darjeeling, the deserts of America and the buzzing cities of Asia. You might think this urban graffiti art is something you might find in Shoreditch. The A10 actually runs from London Bridge down Shoreditch High Street, down the Kingston Road, it passes my house in Cambridge and leads us here to Deja Vu. For today's shoot, I'm using five film cameras. My Fuji 69, my Mamiya RB67, my Hasselblad X-Pan, my Mamiya RZ67 and my Hasselblad Superwide. 
by using four different formats, it allows me to mix the new work with any of my projects over the last 30 years. On one hand, I'm taking wide views of the trailer, and on the other hand, I'm doing close-up images of individual letters. I also like by looking closer at the trailer, you can actually reveal the letters that were originally written on it. I have photographed the Deja Vu trailer over the years, capturing it in different seasons. I especially like the winter when the wetlands re-emerge, the floodwaters submerging the trailer. The changing light of every season has its own beauty. So I'm happy, I'm happy because I've been thinking about this shot for the last two, two years since I last photographed here. So I'm glad to have got my ideas I had shot and it's also great that I've gone through four different cameras trying out something new each time. It's a job done. As I leave the field, I am rewinding the images in my mind, but it won't be until I've processed the film and get the negatives in the darkroom that I'll see the results.